All righty, let's go. Let's go across the coast then. Tell me, tell me who's next. Across the coast, Portland. Close. It's RSL. So, RSL with one designated player spot still available have re-signed second best center back in the league, Marco Sil- Marcelo Silva. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's throwback a for somebody who has ever heard. If it. you don't, if you haven't seen the last episode, go watch it. You'll you'll understand that reference. Um, two generation Adidas players in Elijah Paul and Bertland Jockison. Uh, two homegrown players and Carlos Andres Gomez uh, from Mianarios. They've lost Nick Beasler, Yo, uh, Johan Kapelhoff, Tate Smith, Bobby Wood, Sergio Cordova, and Aaron Herrera. Tell me what they need. Please hold. I'm pulling them up. Very professional of you to be prepared. I was, I was filling out my spreadsheet for them. I got to get my average grade. Um, so I don't know if they, they'll end up moving guys around and, and, uh, maybe somebody else will end up playing this position, but you know, I'm looking at right back. That seems to be pretty open right now. I don't see anybody other than Bodie Hidalgo, uh, on the roster there. Um, I would say striker is definitely a position of need for them considering, uh, they lost Cordova, and I think he was, and maybe this is up for debate, but I think he was probably their strongest striker last year. I don't know. I didn't follow RSL enough to remember, but I would say I would like to see them get a striker. Uh, Rubio Rubin, I think, is fine, but I feel like they could go bigger there. Yeah, um, I've got them needing a TAM level right back, a guy who comes in much like Sergio Arias, like we talked about before, who comes in and immediately holds that spot down. Um, I also see them with that DP slot, they've got to go get a, a six, an eight, or a 10. One of one of the two, or one of the three, because I look at this center mid group right now, and they're they're strong. Like Pablo Ruiz is good, Ojeda's good, Krylik coming off an of injury. Um, that's... That that's your starting three there. Uh, Lafelsend was good last year, not DP quality good. Scott Caldwell is a good secondary player, uh, and that's that's about the level of their their CM crew. So I'd love to see them use that um, DP slot on a true number eight, number ten, um, or use it and go get somebody uh, to fill in your winger spot. Because I think what will happen is you'll see Anderson Julio move into that striker role. Now that Cordova's gone, I think they used him there more frequently. Um, or Jefferson Savarino might jump in there, one of the one of the two. So um, they can go out and, and get themselves a really big name uh, wide player and utilize somebody as maybe like a false nine or something like that. Um, but that that DP slot needs to be used. They can't go another season just barely creeping into the into the playoffs again with the way that the the west has improved this year yeah i mean not to sound too much like a hater but i think they were kind of based on the way that they set up that roster last year feels lucky that they were able to make the playoffs not to say that they weren't quality enough last year to make it but i i feel like on paper there were just a lot more stronger teams than rsl and i i think if you're not going to utilize all your designated player spots, I just don't know if you're going to have the quality to win, especially with the way that teams are building like LAFC and Toronto. Like I just, I can't see this RSL team being good enough to like knock them off and win cup or supporter shield. I I think they have to be more ambitious. Get them RSL fans. Get them. (laughs) I I really like RSL. I, I want them to do well. And I think they have a couple of good players to build around. But I just I would love for them to be to go for some more like big name guys. Like no, if you I, have an open spot, then go for it. Use it. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree. Like I said, they got they got Silva back. It's good. GA signings always have high potential uh, and usually pan out, which is why I've included them by name. Um Gomez from Mianarios gives them another attacking option. I think uh again, just kind of opens it up a little bit. Um 
the, the center of park is my worry, right? Ruiz is good. Ojeda's got the potential. Uh, Laughlson had a good year one. Luna looks like he's got the potential to be the guy. But when you've got that open DP slot, you can you can bring somebody in to teach him a little bit and and move forward. I'm very excited to watch Diego Luna. We'll talk about that in our deep dives um, as a player to watch. But um, I've got him at a C right now. I think there's still more that they can do. I don't think they've really hurt themselves. You know, they didn't lose a ton of massive players just kind of in the front and uh, Herrera. But I don't think they've absolutely ruined themselves so far. Yeah, I have them at a, a. So my spreadsheet gives them a B minus. I think I want to go C plus, C plus or B minus. Honestly, I'm okay with either or. I don't think they've had a bad window. I just, again, I kind of wish that they had a little. I, I wish there was a little bit more splash in their signings, but that's not really the RSL way. So I can't say that I'm too surprised, to be honest. For somebody who works with numbers a lot, it's kind of crazy that you're making this assumption without even factoring in grades for people who have left. <laughs> I know. I kind of like I, a skewed, kind of like a skewed metric, you know? It is. It's a little bit of a skewed metric. I kind of just have to wing it and go off vibes on that case. Wow. Very professional of you. Yeah. I mean, I only bring professionalism to this podcast. <laughs> 